everyone, it's me, 4C underscore Diva. I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. As you know, this past week, I was on vacation. Um, I went to DC and Myrtle Beach. We were supposed to originally have gone to DC and New York, but our plans changed, so we ended up going to um, DC and Myrtle Beach instead. And as you remember, I told you I was gonna try to put some strategies in place to help me to stay um, on track. I followed through on that. On our trip, um, I had packed some pretzels, I had packed some, some um, cherries, and I packed some mixed nuts, you know, the lightly salted ones. Um, what else did I pack? Um, we had some bananas, things of that nature. That way, whenever I would stop, I could just eat, you know, what I had in place and not try to get the snacks and stuff from the convenience store. And I also had um, a cooler full of um, water, bottled water. And so I was so glad that I had those things in place because it really helped me on track. One thing that I also did that I think was just brilliant. I loved it. Um, whenever we would stop, most of our stops would always be um, 10 to 15 minutes. So I took that opportunity to walk. I got some walking in. I loved it. People were looking at me like I was crazy when I was walking around the gas station um, and all around the parking lot and everything. But it was fine because I was doing something for me. So it was, it, that was great. And so that's something I think I want to continue to do, whether I'm traveling or if I'm just waiting um, for my kids, if I pick them up from school or from a different um, event, while I'm waiting for them to come you know, to me, I can walk around and get some additional um, walking steps in. So that, for me, that, that kept me from being so sedentary on the trip. I was able to get the walking done. And I was also able to uh, keep up with my regular exercises too. I did the push-up challenge. How did you guys enjoy the push-up challenge? Who did it? Um, did anyone do it with me? I ended up doing the push-up challenge, um, doing push-ups the modified way. I'm not quite strong enough to do them on my toes yet, but that's a goal for me, to do them um, on my toes, at least the two sets of 10. But yeah, I did enjoy the push-up challenge um, last week. This week, we're gonna start our new challenge. And this challenge is for, it's a 30-day challenge. If you check out my Facebook page, um, you'll see that this challenge is for 30 days. So that's the challenge that we're gonna be doing for the next few um, days. So the next few times we do um, the gift of the fourth C Diva, we already know what our challenge is gonna be. And for your convenience, what I did on the Facebook page, I um, put this challenge, the 30-day um, ad challenge, I put that on the, um, I pinned that on top of the timeline. So whenever you go to the page, you'll see it posted there already, and you don't have to search through the various posts. It's right there at the very top. Okay, day one, I have to tell you, is pretty easy. I like day one, but I was looking through, um, some of the other days, it's gonna get tougher, but I think um, I'm gonna be able to do it. Even when it gets tough, I'm still gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna hang in there and let me know uh, if this is a challenge that you're gonna be doing with me. I really don't wanna do it by myself. I want you guys to do it with me. So if you're gonna be doing the challenge with me, let me know. Let me know on the Facebook page or let me know on, on, on the inbox on that page. Oh, let me tell you something. There was someone who asked me they, they are my friends on my regular Facebook page. They were um, asking, how did they leave a message on the, um, the 4C Diva page? Um, well, there's, there's a link on the lower right-hand corner of that page. And if you look all the way to the right and in the lower corner, you'll see where it says message. You can put, you can um, click on that link and then you'd be able to send me um, inbox messages. So that's how that works. Because that was a question that I didn't even, um, I wasn't even, um, I didn't even think about, you know, how could you leave me an inbox message? But when this person had asked me about it, I started searching, you know, the page, the 4CB page and um, 
Yeah, there's a link there on the lower right hand corner where you can um, sit in boxes or whatever. And so if you have questions, comments, suggestions, just or anything, you can just um, send me um, an inbox right on that 4C Diva page and the inbox is private. It's between the two of it's just between all of us. Just us. Me and you. So no one else will see that. And if there's something that you want everyone to know, you can just put it on my page. I opened it up so that you can put um, personal posts post up there if you'd like. If you have um, something that you want to share with the group, just post it. If you have a particularly good day, put it in there. If there's a challenge that you want to issue the group, you can um, put it on that page as well. Or you can send an inbox and let me know that that's a challenge that you'd like for the group to do. And I will certainly um, post it as a challenge for the group. Um, what else do I need to um, add? Um, oh, also, when I was on um, my vacation, I also practice um, portion control. I really had to do that because I wasn't doing my own cooking. We were eating out. And um, one of the restaurants in particular that I really had to look out for was the Hard Rock Cafe. Um, I have to tell you, I enjoyed the food. I enjoyed the atmosphere and everything. Um, but when I was looking at the food, I wanted to make sure that I knew the calorie content. The sandwich that I wanted, it was well over 800 calories. Okay, so I knew I didn't want a sandwich that, cost, that, that was worth 800 calories. And um, it also had you know, a good deal of fat in it too. So what I ended up doing, I took half of that sandwich and gave it to my kids. I kept one half of the sandwich and I told them to not put mayo on my sandwich but to put it on the side and so they did that for me. And the sandwich, it was piled with bacon. It was a plastic plug. And so I took out all the bacon that was in that sandwich other than one strip because I wanted that one strip of bacon because I still wanted that crunch and I wanted that salty taste in it. Okay, so I did that. So when I got finished with that sandwich, it went from over 800 down to about 600. And that included the fries too. And so um, I didn't eat all the fries. I just portioned out some fries. And so I was able to enjoy that meal for about 600 calories which I thought was fantastic. I was able to enjoy the food like everyone else. I was able to enjoy the atmosphere and not splurge too much because like I said, it was only about 600 calories, which I thought was great. Um, let's see, what else do I need to talk about? Um, How did you guys do on the push-up challenge? I did the push-up challenge this week. Instead of doing it for three days this week, I did it for four. Um, I did my push-ups modified style. I had my legs extended, but I did the push-up on my knees rather than my toes. I'm not quite strong enough to do that yet. But let me know how you did. Because um, I really would like your feedback. I like suggestions. Um, I'd like to know how you're doing on these various challenges. Um, let's see. What else do I need to talk about? Oh. Uh, for the trip for DC, I'm gonna have pictures posted pretty soon. Um, I'm not sure which day, but I will have pictures posted this week so you can see some of the sites that I saw. Um, also, um, this week, the workout that I'm gonna be doing is the Leslie Sand Songs um, Walk Away the Pounds. It's the four mile challenge. It's the super challenge. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, I really enjoyed this video. It's um, done at a pretty rapid pace. Um, it really keeps you going. Um, I'm also still doing the C25 k um, run on alternate days. This week is week three for me. And um, it's, it's 90 seconds of running, 90 seconds of jogging. You do that for two sessions and then you do three minutes of running three minutes of jogging you do that two times then it did you know then of course you can have the five minute warm up the five minute cool down and that's pretty much how the the c25k run uh, works this week i really like it that way because you get to mix things up a little bit you're not um you're not doing a whole lot of walking you're not doing a whole lot of running you actually mix it up and the time 
actually changes as well. And so it keeps your mind focused on different things. So it sort of breaks up the monotony of the walk run because of, because of the timing. Um, anyway, next week, our challenge will still be the same. I may come up with a challenge in addition, but just know that for the next 30 days, our main challenge will be the 30 day ab challenge. And for your commands, like I said, I posted it on top of our timeline. So you can check that whenever you want to. So until next time, this is 4C underscore diva. Peace.